Anyone here ever been in a relationship with an extremely jealous person? All right. A lot of lucky people. Wow, must be nice to not be in terrible, toxic relationships. You think you're better than... All right. Uh, so I'm assuming if, based on that reaction, you're all, ter- you're all the terrible, jealous person in your relationship. Uh, you're not going to enjoy this story at all. <laughs> I dated, uh, I dated a pretty, pretty extremely jealous woman in, high, in a co- college. In college, she's pretty, pretty jealous. Like, jealous to the point that, like, I couldn't say celebrities were attractive. You know, in case I'd leave her for Kristen Bell or something. If I ever meet her, she's, yeah, I got a shot. So, yeah, pretty, pretty intensely jealous. So, my college sweetheart, uh, I was with her for four years. Actually, the only part of college I finished in four years. Uh, but we had... We had a good run. Uh, in those four years, we only took one class together, and it was a uh, health class. Health class, Monday and Friday, 10 a.m., Dixon Lecture Hall. Anyone? Anyone else in that one? All right. There were definitely other people there, maybe none of you. But uh, Professor Hayda, come on, anybody. All right. Well, what school? <laughs> Cuts down, anyone? All right. Uh, so we took this one class together in college. I can't believe I lost you guys on specifics. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even mad. It's a small school. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we took one class together. And we're sitting in that class one day. It's a lecture hall. Our professor is giving out tests, like returning test grades. And I can just hear my girlfriend. She's sitting next to me, just fuming mad. She's just like, look at this fucking girl. And I'm just like, is everything OK? She was like, just look at this fucking girl. You'd love her. <laughs> just preemptively mad at me that a woman exists. And I was like, I was like, what, what, why, why would I love her? She's like, she looks like me, but she has bigger boobs. I was like, you're right. Uh, no, I didn't say that. No, I didn't, I didn't know what to say. I probably should have said a lot of things like, uh, no, I like you, or like, that's not really a great reaction, or, let's break up, something along those lines. <laughs> One of those things probably would have been better to say. Instead, I made a huge mistake, and I said, oh, Rachel? <laughs> She's so mad I knew Rachel. <laughs> and the thing is, like, I didn't really know Rachel. It's just a small school. We had circle, like, we shared circles of friends, you know? I knew her through the track team, which I was, like, associated with. I also had another class with her. So, like, I just mentioned that I knew this woman's name, and she was just furious. So now we're fighting because I know this woman's name. And it's just like very tense, very awkward, heated. And it just, we just like, all right, fuck it, drop it. We just drop it. We'll come back to this later. Uh, a couple weeks pass, a couple weeks later, and it's a really like terrible, snowy day on, on like our school. And like the campus is covered in slush and ice. It's a mess, it's a disaster. We, we go to class, we're in class. And then Rachel shows up on crutches. Like, she just got, she just trekked across campus on crutches, comes in late. She's so embarrassed. She, like, apologizes to the professor. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm just having a really terrible day. I'm these crutches. And it's, the weather's not great. So after class, we're in the dining hall. My girlfriend and I are having lunch. And I see, I get an email that my next class that I have with Rachel is canceled. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go tell Rachel that class is canceled. And my girlfriend's so mad. <laughs> and she's like, No. I was like, no, I can't tell the girl on crutches not to cross campus in the snow. And she's like, I don't want you to talk to her. I was like, I was like so I can't, just to stress this, can't tell the girl on crutches that class is canceled. She says no, and I didn't tell her. <laughs> I didn't tell her, I gave in. But then, my girlfriend went to the bathroom and I was like, I'm telling Rachel. <laughs> Run over to Rachel, like a guardian angel. I'm like, class is canceled, don't go. And Rachel is so grateful. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. And then, here's the thing about Rachel, super chatty. (laughs) Can't just tell her real quick and then move on with my day. (laughs) Gotta have a whole thing with Rachel. She's talking my ear off. I'm like trying to get away so I don't get in trouble. (laughs) Takes too long to get away. My girlfriend comes back in. I can just see her so mad, furious that I'm talking to Rachel. We fought about it all day. 
fought about this thing all day. And here's the thing. We fought about this and plenty of other shit for years. Years of, like, this toxic, like, bullshit dynamic where I just kind of, like, put up with it. And then you know what happened eventually? Is she cheated on me a bunch. <laughs> Which you guys think is funny, and it's not... But, like, she was clearly, like, that whole time she was just projecting her own insecurities and other things onto me when, you know, I should have been the one that maybe should have been a little more limiting. And I think ultimately what we learned from this is that she would go on to cheat, with, she would go on to cheat on me with a guy who looked just like me but with a bigger dick. You know, it's crazy <laughs> that that happened. I don't know, guys, just know your worth. <laughs> <laughs>